All right, here we're looking at cone volume. It has a height of 14.3 meters and a base with a circumference hmm, of 8 meters. Find the uh, volume to the nearest tenth. So the volume formula for a cube is one-third of the cylinder volume, pi r squared h is cylinder volume, and our particular cone here has a height of 14.3, so that part's pretty straightforward, and a circumference of 8. And you'll notice in the formula there, there is no room for circumference. Circumference is the perimeter of a circle, the outside edge. So what we need here is a radius, which is this length here from the middle to the edge. So we need the radius, which we don't have. So a prerequisite to this problem is to find the radius, and hidden within the circumference is the radius, because the formula for circumference is 2 pi r. But we know that the circumference is 8, so I can say that this amount is equal to 8. So in order to solve this for my radius, I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and this will give me pi times radius equals 4, and then if I divide both sides by pi, I get 4 divided by pi, you can divide by pi here and here, mathematically, and what you'll find is that the radius, 4 divided by pi, is 1.273. 1.273. Okay, crisis averted. We now have the radius. We already had the height, so now all we got to do is plug it into the formula. So the volume is equal to one-third pi times the radius, which we just found, squared times, can I fit it? Nope. Another crisis averted. Uh, times the height, and the height has been sitting here the whole time, 14.3. So let's see how my short-term memory works in remembering all these numbers to type it in. One-third pi radius, 1.273, squared times the height, oops, that's not times, used to doing this on a computer, times the height, which was 14.3, and we get 24.267. So this simplifies to 24.267. We have square meters and then meters, so this will total out into, as volume it always is, cubic meters. And this is to the nearest tenth, so we would round this to 24.3 cubic meters. Easy as pie.